French do build good submarines. The problem is Australia has said we are special, we want a special design, and therefore we have taken on a huge amount of risk and a very costly project. It was a much anticipated announcement. The French shipbuilder Naval Group selected to build Australia's next fleet of submarines. But four years on, the shine has come off. Why did the people think that it was fine to not tell taxpayers that the cost was, had gone from 50 billion to nearly 80 billion for three years? I don't believe there was a conscious decision not to disclose it, Senator. But it just I... wasn't disclosed, $30 billion. We're just gonna not tell people. Is that what we do? The Defence Minister argues it's not a cost blowout, as the higher figure is the price over the life of the project, once inflation and exchange rate changes are factored in. The total construction cost is now $89 billion. I don't understand why you couldn't just be up front. do injustice to Australians. They understand inflation and over four decades, they understand that today's buying power will be less in the future. Professor of Strategic and Defence Studies Hugh White believes even at $50 billion, the price is too high. This is over $4 billion a boat. In world comparative terms, you'd expect to pay about $2 billion for the kind of boat we're buying. So it looks like we're paying twice what we should be paying and it's not clear we're getting twice as much boat as everybody else. Maintaining the 12 submarines over their life cycle will cost a further $145 billion. Naval Group is basing the design of Australia's diesel electric submarine on a nuclear powered boat. You're taking a nuclear reactor out of the boat and putting in a whole lot of diesel engines and generators. It's a really fundamental change. It hasn't been done before. Really, it's a brand new design. We're really starting from scratch. I think having a reference design means you don't need to reinvent the wheel uh, every time you come up against some sort of engineering problem. Our geography demands that we have a submarine with long range, long endurance. I think against all, the, all of those requirements, the French design stacked up best. Key to the French sales pitch was an advanced propeller system called pump jet propulsion. But independent MP Rex Patrick believes it's unsuitable for Australia's boats. As a former submariner, I can tell you that stealth is a key attribute of a submarine. With a pump jet, a conventional submarine operating at low speed will consume its battery at a much greater rate than a submarine with a propeller. When it's recharging, it's snorting, it's uh, drawing air from uh, above the waterline, it's running its noisy diesels, it's detectable by radar, it's detectable visually. We appreciated their extraordinary restraint throughout the Retired storm. US Navy Captain James Fennell questions why the government chose the French bid over one from Japan, a strategic ally in the region. I think you become more operationally relevant working with the Japanese, they're a, a, an allied partner that's in the region. Whereas France, uh, while certainly allied in our, as a Western democracy, is in Europe and their forces aren't really out in the Pacific like the Japanese are. But the first new submarine won't hit the water for more than a decade. And there are early signs the schedule is slipping. The Auditor General has recently looked at the latest milestone and it is 17 months behind schedule. Billions will also need to be spent prolonging the life of the ageing Collins class fleet to ensure there's no capability gap between the old and the new subs. I think the Australian public can take a lot of confidence in the Collins. Defence analyst Greg Ferguson sees similarities between the new submarines and the Collins class project. It was uh, maligned at the start. It's now the world's best submarine of its type. The trouble is that the Australian government, uh, the Department of Defence and the Navy uh, didn't engage at the time with the media and with the Australian public and therefore allowed a, an information vacuum to appear which was filled by the critics and the haters uh, and the ratbags. The risk is that something similar could happen with the attack class submarine.
The Defence Minister, Linda Reynolds, agreed to an interview but then cancelled and was too busy to reschedule. 7.30 managed to ask her one question about the submarine project at a recent press conference. Look, I've got to say, I am constantly dismayed at the mischief you know, behaviour in which uh, some of my parliamentary colleagues, particularly in the Labor Party, are playing politics with this program and with the figures. It is on budget and it is on time. Thank you. Some local suppliers also have questions for the minister. They want an ironclad guarantee there'll be a minimum 60 per cent Australian content in the build. There is a lack of contracts going to Australian industry. What we are waiting to see is a contractual change that actually ratifies it and, and, and actually puts it into the contract so that it is an enforceable requirement. Naval Group declined an interview, but recently called for companies to supply 23 pieces of equipment for the project. Look, I think the first thing the government needs to do is to reintroduce competition for the French. What governments normally do with these sorts of projects is to contract with two different designers to design and develop the boat so that they are under pressure for performance and price and schedule as they develop their proposals. If you want to introduce competition, that means you've got to stop the project as it is, go and check with somebody else, can they do it? And if they can do it better and cheaper, then you've got to start all over again. This is a very audacious plan. This is what vision looks like. Now the pressure is on to see whether the audacious plan is worth the money. This project really does need a thorough overhaul. Defence projects are never easy. I think the way that the project has been progressed at the moment is setting it up for success. 